What's up, Ram family diddly doodlers? It's me, Alex the Rambler, back once again on Hearts of Iron 4. Today, I'm going to try and fix one of your save games once again. So, of course, if you enjoy this series, leave a like, okay? Just, just do it. Subscribe if you haven't, because, you know, you all want to watch more Rambler, right? More Rambler means more, um, life satisfaction. So, there you go. Now, despite me saying send save games in when you're not using any mods, it appears most of you seem to, so I'm going to try and make this one work. Uh, I don't have any of these mods, so I guess we'll see. So this save game was sent over by a fella called Defender. He started a game as the Z clique, but he wants me to take over as Japan and see what I'm able to do. Um, Right, I think I... Hmm... This might be actually be tricky because it's 19 for almost 1941 and Japan hasn't really made any ground into taking China and now it's all united under the Guanzi clique. I think I can uh, I've got a shot. I've got a shot. So I don't know why I'm meant to be trying to fix this for the AI. Uh, I guess to flex. Yes, I'm going to flex. Now, as you can see, the AI loves to use all of their generals down here and this is just going to be grim, absolutely grim. Uh, as you can see, I'm also out of manpower, and my total, uh, I'm lacking 200,000 men. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And I don't have any political power to increase my... Oh, I will definitely need to do spiritual mobilization to solve this. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and give a few tips and tricks, uh, but I, I need to get all of this sorted out first. I, I, I need to kind of change all my armies around, okay? Okay, I'll see y'all in, uh, in, in in a little bit. Okay, so we have lots of troops on a garrison order, and I don't really need any of those. Uh, so I, I need equipment in the field more than anything else, so we'll just get rid of those. We also have 31 divisions protecting mainland China too. Also didn't need any of those, we'll get rid of those. And now we have manpower. Good. What are we producing? Are we constructing civilian factories? Are we producing any aircraft? Mm, not... Yeah... Not overly, but we are in a deficit of infantry equipment, support equipment, and improved artillery, which is what we need to focus on. In terms of air force, no, that's not the button. That's the button. Okay, let's unpause and see if I've fixed this already. Nope. Uh, why, are, why are my men still attacking? I didn't want them to attack. Thank you. So let's see what we're up against. The Guanzi clique have around... Oh my gosh, their industry outpasses mine. <sighs> That's not good. That's not good. Um, we can fix this. We can fix this. Don't you worry, Ram Damley families. Uh, I probably want to improve the infrastructure in my northern provinces. I, I can't do it in Manchin... Oh, for pity's sake. Uh, yes. Improve the infrastructure. I don't. I, I'm just going to forget about these factories. We're we're in a bit of a pickle. I'll be honest. A bit of a, a bit of a small pickle. Okay, just a little pickle. Littler than pickle Rick. I don't even know what that means to be honest with you. I, I I'm not really up to date on the whole meme image. Okay, now what I've done, I've reorganised my army mainly into. Oh, there we go. That's good. Mainly into one that will just hopefully attack across the board. I don't have any offensive divisions. I'm just going to defend for a while. It looks like the AI had planned a little attacky down there, which is fine. A spiritual mobilization. Wait. Yes. So I will deem this saved if I pretty much am capitulating the Guanzi clique. I'm not going to try and do war against the Allies because I think it's too far gone for that. Uh, but let's see what kind of divisions the Guanzi. Hmm. Okay. What kind of divisions am I fielding? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back down to 24 whip. Thank you. Now, this might be a fairly simple one to fix if the AI performs how I want them to. Although it still seems kind of messed up out. What the frick? Uh, so, this will be more of a tutorial for everyone. As you can see, they don't, we don't have a whole lot of army XP right now, so we can't change our division templates. Uh, my inventory equipment, we have all what we need in the field now because of all the divisions that I had disbanded. Now they've gone into kind of a more active troops in the field. The frick, really? Are the Soviets are actually beating my divisions up here? Okay. I'm going to take a look at the fleets of what the AI has done, and I don't... Oh. I don't really want... I uh, In terms of aircraft, we have aerial superiority across the board, so we can pretty much hold them wherever we want to. Let's just switch that over there to Western China. Jobs are good. Uh, but if there, if there are any tips and tricks you really want to know what to do, just uh, comment below and... 
I, I don't know if I'll be able to actually explain them, but maybe people in the comments can actually be helpful for with people. Ah, looks like, okay, so this is one thing that people tend to forget to do is to, uh, after the Marco Polo Bridge incident, you need to escalate the war. Now that's all been done. Uh, Prerequisites China ex doesn't exist. Okay, well, usually you need to escalate the war with Japan, otherwise you have a big debuff. I don't think we'll have the debuff now. Let's take a little look. Militarism. No. Uh, I'm just going to test their line. So why don't we do a little cheeky push across here. And as you can see, my offensive line is actually working. This is primarily due to... I presume my, my units are... Oh, wait. No, I'm losing now. Well, on some places I'm winning, some places I'm losing. Usually, you can just like click attack and you'll demolish China. Uh, it, it appears that's not happening. <laughs> I believe that's probably due to the fact that the onesie clique was a human player, so I'm going up against the human player's division templates. And down here, I don't know if they'll have any garrison. I would very, be very surprised if they don't have any garrisons. Uh, they did not have any garrisons. Okay, brilliant. Let me just stick all the divisions I can into this a a attack order. So something you really want to try and do uh, as Japan is to get as many encirclements as possible. I'm going to try and make this happen, but the AI will probably reinforce, and I don't really have any decent divisions that will break their infantry. I'm going to definitely request the forces of Manchuko. Thank you very much. All their 92 divisions. What on earth have they been building? Well, <laughs> with these, I'm going to send them to my northern border. Forget about them. And once they're in place, I'll move the rest of my main army down here. Looks like this attack went... Uh, I, I kind of forgot about it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stop that. So you see, like, you know, I still make mistakes. Even as the, uh, you know, the, be the best uh, Hoi 4 player uh, ever. Uh, we, we all still make mistakes from time to time, you know? Now, admittedly, I would like to build up a bit more and create some divisions that would be really good for encirclements. However, it's more I lack the, the time... Uh, it's 1941, I should have been building those divisions a few years ago. Obviously I didn't have the save back then, uh, so, so I can't. Uh <laughs> okay, now this is an opportunity to encircle quite a few divisions. Uh, so we're moving into that tile, I'm going to pin them here so they can't move out, and we're just going to move up there as well. So that could be, we could encircle 17 divisions here. That would be a big boon! Oh, we've done it! Oh. Now, the Manchuko forces, I don't really care about too much, so I'm just going to send them attacking and see what they can do. If anything, really. Kind of entered a stalemate now with the Guanzi clique. It's, it's not ideal. I do intend to push soon, but once again, I don't have any pushing divisions. I think I will demand Indochina from the French. That would be very good. That would be a big boon for me if they actually accept this. Will they accept? <gasps> yes. Good. <laughs> now only if I had the units to put it to put, put, put in there. Um, my divisions still aren't moving over, so I I have no idea. Oh, big, oh, oh, they all reset. Oh, for pity's sake! I've just let the Guanzi clique take all of this. This was an absolute. I I need to send this save game to be fixed. I think this is this is bad. This is very bad. This is very very bad. Okay, so Siam's in. Uh, taking back my territory for me, which is great. <laughs> ah, good old Siam. Having a few regrets taking on this campaign now because it's an absolute ball ache. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've still taken more casualties than the Guanzi clique. Bloody Nora. Bloody, 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 bloody Nora. So everything starts off green, then goes to red. Uh, the supply problem is becoming really quite exacerbated at this point. But I don't have the civilian factories to fix it. So I'm in a bit of a catch-22 here. I, I can push for a little while, and then everything goes bad. <laughs> but I'm pushing. It's just costing me everything. Everything. It appears Siam is slowly getting destroyed, so my game plan down here uh, failed once again. <laughs> Brilliant. So what I'm trying to do down here is to cut off this entire flank. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to give it the good old Rambleroony try and see if I can, like, snack down and... Just mess up their front lines for a while. Uh, I should probably launch an attack across the board to distract them. Okay, I might be able to make big gains here. Big gains. Oh, we're overrunning them. Oh! I think we might have this now. Well, I, I, I shouldn't jinx myself, really, should I? But I think 
they're slowly crumbling out their manpower. Ugh. But when I get in circumstances like these, it really does help out the situation, you know? We're slowly killing their divisions, encircling them like one or two at a time, kind of piecemeal. Uh, then all of the- oh, well, this one's like six, but it, it, it's working. This this strategy of work- I'm, it's the, I, I, don't, I don't know what strategy it is. It, it, it's been kind of a bit of a bad one, but now I've actually got- they're semi-decent tanks, and they're, they're not great. I, I did what I could with them, but it's, it's, it's kind of pitiful. I think I might take their capital in a second, though, which would be great. More factories for me, and less for them. Uh, this province, I think, is bugged out. No one can actually use it. This uh, It's kind of annoying. It's broken up my front line. It's... Yeah. So as we can see, they're 99% towards capitulation now. Uh, so this kind of... I've kind of actually... It's, it's, it, it's been brutal. I haven't enjoyed this at all. Uh, the amount of problems that I've run into. <laughs> uh, it's just because you're taking over from the AI, so it, it just makes uh, kind of... Taking over from the AI is, is very difficult because the AI makes so many silly decisions uh, throughout the game. So I, I, I should be able to capitulate them before the Soviets decide to go after me. Uh, but this has been an absolute pain in my buttocks. Uh, so, Defender, you're a git for sending me this. You're an absolute git. Uh, but I, hopefully, I've managed to show you how you can how you can fix stuff. Uh, I, I managed to fix the AI, whatever whatever decisions they made. It's 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 been brutal. And there we go. The third Guanzi clique has been gobbled. That was ah, uh, golly. Gosh, how much equipment did we- Oh my! The enemy lost 200,000 rifles. Whew. It was a bit of a weird one because I was taken over from the AI, but hey-ho, if you've enjoyed seeing Hirohito's Nightmare be fixed, then leave a like. It'd be very much appreciated. Uh, subscribe, comment, and all that lovely stuff, and I'll see you- Well, I won't I won't see you, but I'll- I'll be back in another video soon, okay? <laughs> Toodaloo! Many thanks to Wyatt, Andrew, Clinshaw, Jiggly Crotch, Brock Obama, Lord Hood, I Am A Living Legend, King Volts, Greyshot117, Hunter of Griefers, The Hardmeister, Martin, Red, Logan, and Sam for being ridiculous round of supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!